A C-130J Super Hercules Transport Aircraft Carrying Defense Minister, Roadways Minister, and the Air Chief, has completed an emergency field landing on a national highway in Rajasthan, that was followed by Jaguar Strike Aircraft and Su-30 Fighter Jet. The Indian Air Force Chief has said, that the Air Force is looking to procure around 350 aircraft from within the country in the next two decades. He also said, that next in line is 170 units of the Tejas Mark II, but for that to happen, Hindustan Aeronautics has to speed up productivity. He also informed, that the AMCA is also at an advanced stage, and its first flight will be conducted in 2025. The Cabinet Committee on Security chaired by Prime Minister Modi, has cleared two mega-projects, that include six A319-based airborne early warning and control aircraft worth 11,000 crore rupees, and 56 Airbus C295MW aircraft worth 15,000 crore rupees. Out of the 56 C295MW aircraft, 16 aircraft will be delivered in flyaway condition from Spain within four years of signing the contract, and 40 aircraft will be manufactured in India by Tata Consortium within 10 years of signing the deal. The number of C-295 to be produced in India will go up in the future, as the Indian Coast Guard plans to order an initial six multi-mission maritime variant, and a total of 19 aircraft in the near future. The DRDO has started work on the truck-based VLSR SAM system for the Indian Air Force. The four cell canister modules will be mounted on a mobile 4x6 truck, that will enable 360 degrees slant capabilities with autonomous and net-centric capabilities. Bharat Electronics Limited has also started work on multifunction radar for VLSR SAM missile, while the DRDO is working on the integration of electro-optical observation payload and wireless data link communication. The DRDO plans to test both the Naval and Air Force variant in the coming months, and the modular system will be not limited to only one type of missile, and will allow longer-range missiles in the future with improved capabilities. Ukraine's gas turbine manufacturer Zoria Mash Project has signed a $100 million contract with Goa Shipyard Limited for the supply of two units of M7H2 gas turbines to equip the two new advanced Tull World Class stealth frigates that is being built at the Indian shipyard. The first gas turbine engine will be delivered in December 2022, and the second engine in July 2023. The first MR SAM missile system developed jointly by the Israeli Aerospace Industries and the DRDO has been handed over to the Indian Air Force today. The Mach 2 capable MR SAM has a range of 70 km and provides 360 degree protection against different aerial platforms, including ballistic missiles. The MR SAM will be operated by the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army, while the naval version is called the LR SAM. In response to U.S. Navy's global request for information for multi-engine trainer program, Hindustan Aeronautics has offered its Tornier 228 aircraft to the U.S. Navy, to replace the Beechcraft T-44 Pegasus from 2023. Swedish aerospace company Saab Group has awarded a multi-million dollar contract to the Indian firm Fokarel Mosasmos Interconnection Systems Limited to manufacture electrical interconnections wiring systems for the T7A trainer, that is being manufactured by Boeing in partnership with Saab Group, that will train the next generation of fighter and bomber pilots of the US Air Force. Delta Combat Systems Limited is investing 150 crore rupees in the UP Defence Corridor, and will make cartridges for sniper rifles and carbines used by the armed forces. Another company Wary Wind Defence Private Limited is also investing 65 crore rupees in the corridor, that will manufacture frames for polymer frame pistols rifles and other safety equipment. 
Allen and Alvin Private Limited and Encore Research are also investing 550 crore rupees to establish their plants to manufacture drones for the armed forces. Oh, my God.